Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the podcast. We're going to go straight into today's question. Uh, I got this. It was like a very long thread of questions from this coach. And essentially uh, what he asks is he's on paper financially doing good. His business is doing around $8,000 a month, which is close to $100,000 per year. Um, And most coaches like would love to be at that level. Like, and I know most people never get to that level. Um, and the problem is not his business. Like his business is, is doing good. He's been in business for about three years. Um, each year it's gotten better, but his question was, you know, I'm doing around eight grand a month, but I feel like at the end of the month, um, I feel like I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I, I feel like I'm not saving money. I'm not able to invest any money. And I kind of went back to him and I said, well, you know, are you documenting the money that you spend throughout the month? And he was like, no, like, you know, like basically just said, no. I said, okay, well, you know, I'm not going to be your financial advisor here, but if you're spending 8,000, you know, I would say after taxes, he's probably doing around five or six. Um, but like if you're spending around five or six grand per month on things, uh, then it's not going to really matter how much money you make because you're going to end up spending it all. And if you think about your finances, so if you're, if you're watching this video, if you're listening to this podcast, you're going to be responsible for how you spend your money. That That is up to you. And unfortunately, these are things that you probably didn't learn when you were young. Um, and I know there's there's a great resource out there. There's a guy named Dave Ramsey. Uh, he's definitely not for everyone. But uh, I watch his videos all the time. I've learned a lot. I've changed a lot of my habits. My, my wife and I have uh, followed a lot of what he teaches. And what he teaches is very simple. Um, but... If you're irresponsible with your money, it doesn't matter how much money you make. Um, Because you could be making $4,000 a month, having like a really good budget, saving money every month, uh, putting money aside every month um, versus someone who's making $10,000, $20,000 a month that's just blowing it all. And this is why I always tell this to coaches Uh, If they're working with me and their income starts going up, I always tell people to live below your means. Like you don't need to go buy a $60,000 car. You don't need to to have a $700 per month car payment. Um, You don't like, you don't need to do a bunch of stuff that, you know, is appealing. And this is why like, you know, this phone right here, on my phone, I have zero apps. All right. I'm not looking at Instagram. I'm not looking at Facebook. I'm not looking at, at what other people have, uh, what cars they drive, what houses they live in. I don't care about any of that. And neither should you. And I think when you start to become more disciplined with your money, which again, I'm not perfect with, but it's something I'm definitely striving to, to be better at. Um, when you're more disciplined with your money, you're going to be able to save more and invest more. And then you're going to be able to end up having way more money long term. Uh, you know, when you're older, so like you can make all the money you want, but if you're caught up spending all the money, it doesn't matter how much you make. All right. So that's it for today's video. I hope this helps. And, you know, as your business does better, I would, I would encourage you to live below your means. Um, that way you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, uh, later on. That's it. See you later.